This is Pastor Tony Kemp, and right now I am in New Orleans, uh, Louisiana, and I really feel led of the Holy Spirit uh, to begin a brand new teaching and series of teaching videos on how you can experience the presence and the person of God. I want to share with you how you can develop a closer personal relationship with the Father and Jesus so that your life in Christ can literally be filled with the love of the Father, the joy of Jesus, and you can have a deeper communion with the person of the Holy Spirit. And in addition to this, that you can grow in the intimate knowledge of the Father and Jesus and that you can have an effective ministry uh, you might say, um, what are biblical reasons for doing this? Well, we know that in Ephesians 4, uh, the Word of God says that uh, the Father and Jesus gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, amen, to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry to build up or edify the body of Christ. And it's the Father's intention that every single one of us grow up to the height and the fullness of Jesus. And so the word of the Lord, as we hear it, see it, commit ourselves to the practice of the word, causes us to grow up in Jesus Christ in all things. And so I want to begin this teaching with this thought. One day I was uh, looking at a particular message on how to host uh, the presence of the Lord. That was my focus. I had been asked to do a teaching on that particular subject and that's why I was looking in that direction. And while I was uh, studying the Word of God on how to host the presence of the Lord, uh, the Holy Spirit speaks to me and he begins to talk to me about spiritual curiosity. Now I received Christ as Lord and Savior in 1972 and I was baptized with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave me utterance. And I began to think about, have I ever heard a message on spiritual curiosity? And I could not think of a single one. And so I began to uh, with that word from the Lord, I began to do research in the scriptures. Remember, Paul says to Timothy, give yourself to the reading of the scriptures. Jesus said in the Gospel of John, search the scriptures, which in the original language means to compare one scripture with another, or to do a topical study in the word of God. And the apostle Paul told Timothy, uh, who is the bishop of the church in Ephesus, that at one time was probably uh, numbering about 100,000 people. He said, study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that, the, that does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And so the Holy Spirit began to speak to me about spiritual curiosity. And for quite some time now, the Lord has been talking with me about how to know the Father and Jesus much more intimately. And so to, allow me to begin with the word of the Lord in 2 Peter 3, verse 18, where it says, But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And of course, to him be the glory both now and to the day of eternity, or forever and ever. Amen. So what is the grace? The grace is divine influence. The grace is the presence of God. The grace is is the power of God. And when the scripture says here to grow in the knowledge of our God and Savior Jesus Christ, it's about more than information. It's about the intimate knowledge of Jesus. It's all about getting to know Jesus much more deeply, much more fully, much more completely, and much more intimately. Well, how do we do that? Here's what's interesting to me. When you look at the book of Exodus, 
and allow me to turn there and let's consider uh, Exodus chapter 3 for just a moment because there may be some keys here, there definitely are some keys here on how I can experience uh, the presence of the Lord. Beginning with verse 1, Moses was keeping uh, the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian, and he led his flock beyond the desert and came to Horeb, and um, the mountain of God. Let me begin with this. Sometimes, though you love the Lord, you may have periods where you feel empty. And this is not unusual, where you feel a sense of spiritual lack. In the Hebrew, Horeb means desolation. And so Moses begins in a place where he feels empty. And so he comes to Mount Horeb, and he feels empty, and something wonderful happens while he's there. The scripture says, there the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of a fire out of a bush. The angel of the Lord, he had what's called a theophany, a God manifestation. So how do I grow in the grace and the intimate knowledge of Jesus and the Father? At some point, I must have an encounter with God. I must experience the presence of God. I must experience Jesus. I must experience the Father. How did you get saved? You had an encounter with God. Maybe it was very, very dramatic. Maybe it was very, very powerful. Or maybe it was just soft and gentle. But you knew that you had experienced God. You experienced Jesus and the Father. And so my life in the grace of God begins with an encounter with the living God through the Holy Spirit where I, I experience Jesus and I begin the process of knowing the Father. And so the Word of God says, but grow in the grace, in the presence of God, coming to know the person of God, the Father, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. And so let's look at what happens with Moses. There's a God manifestation, a theophany. Uh, the angel of the Lord appears, and there's a burning bush. In other words, the Father begins by getting Moses' attention. And this is how I experience God. The Father and Jesus must somehow get my attention. And when the Father and Jesus get Moses' attention through this theophany, this God manifestation, the scripture has something to say. Moses saw a bush on fire. Well, it's not uncommon for, in that desert climate, for a bush to catch on fire. But it would burn out. But this bush kept on burning. What if I was to say to you that right now, your bush is on fire. Right now, you're being uh, prepared by God to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit and with Jesus. And so the word of God says that Moses looked, and the bush was blazing, yet it was not consumed. Then Moses said to himself, I must turn aside and look at this great sight and see why the bush is not burned up. So in, in, in other words, it all began for Moses with an encounter, a God manifestation, and Moses' response a spiritual curiosity. So spiritual curiosity will cause you to look into the encounter with God that is coming before your eyes. And so how do I grow in the grace? Sooner or later, you're going to have another encounter with God. Spiritual curiosity will cause you to investigate, to probe, to look into this appearance of God that is coming before you. However that comes, perhaps you're reading the scriptures and all of a sudden the scripture pops out before you. In that way, you're having an encounter with God. Or sometimes the preacher is preaching the word of the Lord and something he says just seems to be highlighted by the Holy Spirit. Or you're hearing a teaching and something seems to strike you. You're having an encounter with the Lord. 
or the Holy Spirit speaks to your heart in that still, small voice. An encounter begins with a God manifestation, with an appearance of God in your life, in the here and the now that you become curious about and you begin to investigate. In just a moment, we will continue part two of this series on how to experience the presence and the person of God through Jesus Christ. If you would like more information about Tony Kemp Ministries, visit our website, www.tonykemp.com. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel.